All right, everyone. Today I'm looking at Ricardo Gamboa's question. Which of the following determines whether the value contained in the sales variable is at least $450.67? And uh, my answer is going to be A, if sales is greater than or equal to 450.67, then. Um, and that means that the value is at least is greater than or equal to 450.67. So I'm going to really quickly demonstrate that in a project here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, oops, and create a new project. New project here. Uh, the name is going to be, haha, <laughs> one of this, yeah, okay. Um, Let's call this, and I'll just go ahead and dump it into my CS119. Oops. Um, this is going to be just uh, call it uh, great than project, right? Since we're following this convention, may as well follow it in these videos too. Why not? Project and solution. Okay. So we're going to make this project, and I'm going to start off. Um, I'm just gonna drop a couple of things really quickly in here. I'm gonna drop a button. Um, again, I'm not gonna really label any of this junk. We're gonna have this label one. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that text. Uh, but uh, let's just put a border on it for fun. Okay, for funsies. Um, okay, and a text box. Um, and I think the value was 450, 450.67, right? So I dropped that text box on here. Um, I'm just gonna, oops, that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> it's live on the internet, folks. So, okay, so this button is going to check to see if the text box's input is greater than or equal to 450.67. So I'm going to say, this, I'm going to uh, dim uh, some value. <laughs> I love naming variables. Dim some value as double. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in here, we're going to do double.try parse. Um, and it should be called text box. Yeah, text box one dot text comma some value, right? That should give us the value. And then I'm going to say, give it a little space there. If some value is greater than or equal to um, 450.67, which I think was correct. Yeah, 450.67, um, then uh, label one dot text equals Hooray. And let's just throw in an else because why not? Else label one dot text equals sad. Am I really gonna write out? No, I'm just gonna do that. Okay. So um, yeah, there we go. So let's run this and see what happens. And hopefully the right thing happens. But this is live on the internet, so I have no idea. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, 123. Okay, we get a sad face because 123 is less than or equal to 450.67. Um, then I'm going to enter some high number. And hooray, because it is actually so. If I, uh, 450, it should still be hooray, right? So if I do one less or one more, I wonder if I do like, uh, I guess it was 6.7, right? So 6.6.9, all right? Yeah, okay, cool. So that works, uh, success, much happy. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for tuning in.